Miami's real estate market continues to sizzle with the metro area ranking seventh globally in foreign and domestic real estate capital investment in the first half of 2015. Now that's according to agency Miami Commercial Real Estate. But how long is this market going to continue maintaining such momentum? Analyst Jack McCabe, who predicted the last crash in Florida, joins me down the line. Jack, are we heading into bubble territory? I believe we are again. Not as severe, not as long lasting as the Great Recession, but nonetheless imminent and irreversible. Now, we're talking about significant cash real estate transactions in South Florida, like nothing we've seen in the rest of the U.S., right? Do you worry that money laundering could be buoying the growth that is happening in Florida right now? Well, I think without a doubt that we're seeing a lot of laundered money going into new condominiums in South Florida, without a doubt. It's happened every boom and bust cycle that we've ever seen. It's no reason to believe this is any different. And it is a lot of cash transactions. In fact, for over a two-year period, over 70% of all the real estate transactions in Miami were cash. We believe that a lot of this is flight capital, and it's honest money that's coming into the country from other countries that are in a recession or where they're having great economic and political turmoil, as well as folks that want a piece of Florida for their primary or secondary residence. Now, tell me about what this next collection is going to look like. I mean, we already know home price growth is well over the 2013 average, so unsustainable to say the least. Absolutely. If you look at real estate appreciation in the United States over the course of the last hundred years, it's averaged about 3% per year or about 1 to 1.5% 1 over above the inflation rate. What we've seen in the last three years is 13% appreciation, 27% appreciation, 22% appreciation. Now, I believe that a lot of that, the driver is the hedge funds, private equity groups, and the investors that have been buying up many of these units. If we're seeing the tidal waves in Florida, what is the crash going to do for the U.S. market as a whole? The Great Recession began with U.S. real estates and egregious greed that caused the U.S. recession that through global economics caused the global recession that we saw last decade. This time around, it's going to be just the reverse, where recessions in many foreign countries, we, we've heard about Greece, we know that China has devalued the yen by 25%. Honestly, they need to devalue it 25% more to make it fair value compared to how much they've overinflated their values. Indeed. I mean, we can already see, as you mentioned, in China, that depreciation is going to have a direct knock-on effect for some of those cash depositors who are hailing from emerging markets. So this is not a long-term game that they could be playing. No, that's correct. We're going to see a recession in the U.S. by 2000, sometime in 2017 or sooner. And what's interesting is even the most optimistic developers, some of which are my clients, are fearful that it, it could happen sooner than that. And these were guys that never believed the market was going to crash last decade. So I think there's a lot of fear in the market right now. We're seeing the numbers for traffic are declining. The number of sales are starting to slow down. I talked to a broker this morning who told me he's looking at the hits that his company gets on Zillow and that they had been averaging 67,000 hits a month. And this last month, it was down to 16,000 hits, so less than a quarter of what they had been experiencing. So all kind of early indicators are that things are starting to transition right now. Now, what I think is going to happen this time is instead of the U.S. causing a global recession, recessions in all these other countries will eventually cause a recession in the U.S., that will affect U.S. real estate. And I think we're already starting to see those kind of tip of the iceberg indicators right now. Wow, so, so the tables have certainly turned. Absolutely, it's Miami and, and some other areas of the United States have been boom and bust. They've been like a roller coaster ride as opposed to a steady increase in values. And that's what most people think happens in real estate. But last decade, 
Prices in Miami shot up by over 170% in a five-year time period, only to drop by 40 to 60% in the following five years. We're in that same kind of bubble territory again. I don't think it's going to be as severe or as long-lasting. I don't think we'll see the extreme price drops that we did from last decade. But without a doubt, we're going to go through a declining period soon.